Much games. Coraline's adventure began when the Jones family moved into the Pink Palace, which wasn't that much of a palace at all. Mr. Bobinski lived on the top floor. He was the Russian ringmaster of a secret mouse circus everyone knew about. Miss Spink and Miss Forcible lived in the basement flat. Allegedly, they were famous actresses in their day. The Jones family were from Pontiac, Michigan. Charlie and Mel wrote gardening catalogs for a living. They didn't have much time for Coraline. Hey, Mom. Coraline, I am really, really busy right now. I need to finish this catalog ASAP. But you're always busy. Yes, Coraline, I am, and right now I wish you were busy as well. Have you finished unpacking? You can also help by getting some of these boxes out of the way. I almost tripped over one this morning. Okay, Coraline. When you approach a box you can interact with, a button prompt will appear on the top left corner of the screen. Pressing the Z button will allow you to grab the box. At this point, you can use the control stick on the nunchuck to move the box. To let go of the box, press the Z button again. And why don't you try to move that box over there? Good! Now, you can also climb on top of the box by pressing the A button. Why don't you give it a try now? Moving boxes is boring. Can I go outside now? No! It's raining outside. Rain creates mud, and mud means cleaning. I don't have time for either. If you're not going to finish unpacking, then why don't you go and explore the house? Or go see your father. But please, stop bothering me right now. Hey, Dad. What you doing? Coraline, I'm kind of busy right now. Busy with what? Talk to me, Dad. I'm so bored. <sighs> All right. If you're that bored, Coraline, why don't you go and explore our new home? Here, take this pen and paper and try to find seven blue objects in the house. Hmm. All right. Here's one. Here's one.
Here's another one. time for you right now. Dad, I found seven blue objects. List is done. Sheesh, you're already done? Coraline, maybe you should finish your unpacking now. But I am tired of unpacking, and I'm still bored. If you aren't going to unpack, then why don't you help me out by stacking those two piles of newspapers for me? Pick up the pile of newspapers by pressing the Z button. Use the control stick on the nunchuck to move them over to the boxes there and press the Z button again to stack the pile on top of the boxes. Can I go outside now? Did you ask your mother if you could go outside? Mm-hmm. And what did she say? Don't even think about going outside, Coraline Jones. Well, there's your answer, Coraline. Tell you what, I haven't had time to look for the water heater in the house. Why don't you search the house for the hot water tank and see if it's on? Come back here after you've checked the hot water tank. Fine. My work! My work! I can't believe all my work is gone! Oh, hmm. Rain stopped. Can I go out now? I'd like to meet our new neighbors. Fine, fine, fine. You can go see our blue neighbor in the attic. I heard he's a very interesting man. Uh, but before you go out, water the plants in the hallway. Okay. Coraline, make sure you water the plants first. I will, Dad. I should put these in alphabetical order.
The watering can is empty. I better fill it up. Water the plant regularly. Finally, I can get out of this boring house. Maybe I'll go upstairs to meet our neighbor. Hello, Caroline. I found this slingshoot the other day. And since no one is claiming it, I'd like you to have it. Whoa! A slingshot! Now that you have a slingshoot, you can equip and unequip it by pressing the plus button. Once equipped, rotate control stick on the nunchuck to aim. It is easy, see? See doorbell there. Give it a ring with your slingshoe. Good shoot, Caroline! If ever you need Mr. B's attention, shoot doorbell with slingshoot. Mr. B will always be around to train Mushkas. Okay, Mr. B. I'm going to go see Miss Pink and Miss Forcible now. Oh? You should collect a basket full of apple from that tree downstairs to take to the ladies in the basement. I'm sure they would like nice red apples. Not as good as beets, but will do. Goodbye, little girl. All right. Goodbye, Mr. Babinski. Okay, let's see. According to Mr. Babinski, the apples on the tree will change color from green to red to purple. I have to shoot the apples when they're bright red. The ladies wouldn't want a basket full of rotten apples. a nice gift for the ladies in the basement.
much better. Too slow for the amazing and great Coraline. Thank you for the apples, dear. That's so lovely of you. Come sit down and play go fish with us, Caroline. Coraline, Miss Pink? Oh, but I don't know how to play go fish. Oh, it's easy, dear. First, we'll deal out the cards. Then, you select one of your cards to see if we have the one that matches with yours. If the card you pick does not match with any of our cards, then you would go fish and your turn is over. The winner will be the one with the most pairs when all the cards are played. Oh, it's as easy as that, sweetie. Sure, I'll give it a try. This one. No match. I know you are hiding a six. Go fish. This one. No match. One more pair. I see that you are holding a jack in your hand. I know you have a ten. Go fish. No match. Seven heaven. Go fish. No match. One more pair. I know you are hiding a six. Go fish. This one. No match. I know you are hiding a six. Go fish. This one. No match. Oh, a four. Is there a king in my future? Go fish. Here's a pair. No match. Nine. I know you have a ten. Go fish. Here's a pair. No match. I know you have a ten. This one. Nice win, Caroline. Fun, Caroline. <laughs> well, I must be going now. Oh, Caroline, have you heard about the old well close by? A well? I don't know anything about a well. Oh, Miriam, your sense of drama. Sometimes I think that London theatre critic citation has forever bloated your sense of importance. Oh, be very careful, dear. It's a very deep well, and you must stay away. Oh, don't you worry, Miss Spink. Hmm. Sounds interesting. Maybe those birds over there might like a treat. Dogs look like they are out of order.
in order to find the mysterious well in the orchard, Coraline figured she would need a dousing rod. She was unaware she was being watched. It wasn't long after that she made the acquaintance of Wybie Lovat. Although Coraline found Wybie quite annoying, he did show her the location of the well. The day would have been a complete success had Coraline avoided using a piece of poison oak as her dousing rod. Hey mom! Coraline, I am really, really busy right now, and it's time for you to go to bed. Go, go up there now. Fine. I bet Mom would like some milk with her cookies. Hey, isn't that Mr. Babinski's mouse? Hey, little guy, where are you going? I better get you back to Mr. B. Oh! Here you are. Don't you dare run. Gotcha, you little rascal. Hey, look, the door. It's open. What happened to... Hmm, it looks like it goes to somewhere. Whoa, where does this go to? Coraline walked into the kitchen. She thought she saw her mother cooking in the middle of the night. Coraline soon discovered that this wasn't her mother at all. The woman tapped a button eye with her fingernail and asked Coraline if she'd like them. She introduced herself as Coraline's other mother and opened the oven door. Coraline was overwhelmed with the aroma the other mother asked her to help prepare the supper. Thank you.
I think I can use my slingshot to ring these bells. Coraline, dear, come and help me make some yummy pancakes. Here's a list of six ingredients. Can you help me get them? Oh. Okay, but... but... Well, go on. The sooner you get the ingredients on the list for me, the sooner we'll have some yummy pancakes. Oh, there it is. Good job, my dearest. Now help me beat the eggs. Make sure you follow the direction on the screen. Once the icon changes, you'll need to change the direction. You need to get it done quickly before time runs out. Uh-huh. Oh dear, time is running out. Oh, you have to speed it up, darling. Faster, Coraline, faster! You did great, sweetheart. Now go tell your other father that supper's almost ready. Go on. He's in his study. Uh, sure. Hey there, Coraline. Ready to create beautiful music. But I don't know how to play. Don't you worry. Follow the button display on the screen. When the vertical bar scrolls across the button, the button lights up. Press the corresponding button and voila! You're playing the piano. It's easy. Give it a try. That was a lot of fun, Coraline. <laughs> hey, did your other mother tell you that your friend is coming over? My friend? Coraline, why don't you play a game of hide and seek with your friend? He is very good at hiding. Here, start counting. Go on. Okay. That sounds fun. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Ready or not, here I come. fun. Let's have a game of treasure hunting. I'm good at this. Here's a list of items. Let's see who can get the most. Ready? Go! are ready. Come to the kitchen. Here I am. Mmm. They smell great. I have a fun challenge for you, Coraline. Can you catch the pancakes when I flip them up in the air? Move left and right using the control stick on the nunchuck to position yourself underneath the pancakes. Catch at least 15 pancakes before time runs out. Oh, be careful, though. Don't catch any of those nasty bugs and worms. <laughs> Ew. Oh. 
Look at all this delicious food. I wish I could have food like this back at my real home. My real dad tries to cook, but it always ends up tasting gross. After the pancakes, Coraline realized that she should go to bed. She told the woman with the button eyes that she should go home to her other mother. The button-eyed woman replied that she was Coraline's other mother. Confused, Coraline politely explained that she really should be going to bed. The other mother told Coraline that her bed was waiting for her and herded Coraline upstairs. Whitey, what's wrong? Are you okay? I... Uh, I... Uh... Whitey? Where are you? <laughs> Come here, you little munchkin! Wait! 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 To keep your firefly jar glowing, you can replenish the jar with fresh fireflies. When you see the spotlight of fireflies, press the C button to equip your firefly jar. When your firefly jar is equipped, shake your Wii remote to collect the fireflies. The Coraline icon on the bottom right-hand corner of the screen is your health meter. Be sure to keep an eye on it. Coraline woke up confused in her real bedroom the next morning. Her dreams had seemed so real. She had a feeling that YB was in grave danger and was compelled to find her mother and tell her. Mom, I think YB is in trouble. He was in my dream and he looked terrible. Coraline, it was just a bad dream. But I have to head over to the well and make sure YB's okay. The well. You are definitely not going to the well. Now let me finish my work. And don't let me catch you trying to sneak out of this house. Mom!
There's seriously something wrong with that boy. Mr. B, what are you doing? That... that... little devil child! He tricked me! 
Me, the great and amazing Bobinski. He stole my beats. You okay? Do you need my help? Da. If you could be so kind, Caroline. Please help me untangle and get a sticky vine off. Sure. Ouch! Be careful! Ouch! Be careful! Ouch! Be careful! Thank you very much for your help, Caroline. That's very sweet and nice of you. You're welcome, Mr. B. But, by the way, my name is Coraline, not Caroline. That little thief devil! Just wait. The amazing Mr. B will get him. Did you see which way he went? I'm looking for him. He ran towards tennis court. You should not hang out with Devil Kid. I... I can't wait to catch him with hands. Oh, I need to get back to practice. See you soon, Caroline. That's Coraline. This is going to be great. Hmm. How does this thing work again? <laughs> ah! Ah! What are you doing? Hey! Don't shoot! Hey! Watch it! Don't shoot! Sorry, Jonesy. That thing had a mind of its own. I, I have to admit, Jonesy, you should have seen the look on your face. You were so freaked. I was not! You're such an idiot. Why were you born? You know, I was worried about you. But now... Why do I even bother? I am going home and will never speak to you again. Ever. Ugh, I will so never forgive him. See if I care, that jerk. Huh, Mom left me a sandwich and a note. Gone to the store. Here's your lunch. Be back soon. Ugh, are they seriously trying to poison me? I knew it was real. Welcome back, my dear Coraline. 
Your timing is perfect. I made such a delicious meal for you. Come and have some. Wow. This looks delicious, yummy. Oh, there's a gravy train. Does it move? <laughs> sure. Why don't you give it a try and serve gravy for everyone? You can use the control stick on the nunchuck to accelerate and decelerate. Pay close attention. You need to watch out for obstacles. Yeah. Let's do it. This is fun. Coraline. You are doing great. Oh, thank you, Coraline. Darling, Mr. Bobinski invited you and your friend here to see his circus show. Is it the Mice Circus? That sounds like a lot of fun. Should we head to Mr. B's now? I wonder which painting will come up this time. Bingo! Hello, Mr. Babinski. Oh, dear Coraline. We have been waiting for you two. Come and sit, and let's have a little game show. Huh? Behind these doors, there are mice in different costumes. Two of each mice are in same costume. Once you find and pair the mice wearing same costume, their door will stay open. You have a limited amount of time to find all matching mice. Okay. I'll try my best. Ready? Go! Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Oh no! Nope, not same mushka. Good job! Take a close look at this cute little mushka named Valdo. Look closely at pattern on his cloth and head. Did you take a close look? Your next mission is to find Valdo. Valdo, 
good at hiding. Are you ready to find the little Mushka Valdo? Okie dokie. Ready? Get set? Go! Good job! Okay! Okay. Okay. Good job. Good job. Join us, Caroline. Go ahead and take over the conducting. Sure. I'd love to.
Oh, hello. What are you doing here? I think I'm lost. Hmm. Lost is a relative word. You can talk? I must be in a dream. What makes you think I can't talk outside of a dream? Because in the normal world, cats don't talk. Well, I guess you were the expert on cats then. Wait, okay, maybe this isn't a dream. All I know is that I'm lost. Can you please, please help me? Well, you can find your way out of here by following the path and paying close attention to the magical symbols on the ground. Putting weights on these symbols will allow the gates to open. Good luck. Wait, wait! Ugh.
Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. I had the strangest dream. There were a mouse circus and a talking cat and... Figures. Once again, nobody listens. I'll go see Mr. Babinski. I bet if I tell him, he'll listen to me. Caroline! Mr. B cannot find it. It was here, and now it is not here. It is lost. What are you looking for, Mr. B? Combination to new door lock. I write numbers down onto a piece of paper and put into pocket before I go do morning exercise. Now I look in pocket and paper, it is gone. Do you have any idea where it might be? I do morning exercises in front of barn. Then I hear some funny noise and go inside to look for noise. I think paper must be in there somewhere. I'll help you find it, Mr. B. Thank you, Caroline. As reward, I will treat you to a display of my amazing acrobatics.
There's seriously something wrong with that boy. Very good, Caroline. Come, no amazing mouse circus today, but we'll do amazing Bobinski acrobatics instead. Almost as good. Come, 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 come. Stand over here, on this spot. Now, you will do amazing acrobatics with the amazing Bobinski. Me? I, I don't know. <laughs> Sure you can. Let's hit it. Mr. B? This I know. Good work, Caroline. We make amazing team. Now, let's do juggling act together. Pay attention. When I throw beats to you, you react quickly. Focus. Okay. Ready? Go! <laughs> Concentrate. Focus. Almost there. could be a good performer, maybe even amazing like me, one day. 
If you practice more, like my Mishkas, you may be joining me for the almighty circus. Da? I could use someone like you, Caroline. <laughs> A good idea, da? I will talk to mice. Mice would probably... Mice would probably... Mice not so funny. Can be... Moody Mushkas. Oh, <laughs> I should go home now. My mom's gonna kill me if she comes back and not find me home. Bye-bye, Mr. B. Hey there, Coraline. Mother wanted me to wait here for you. Here's a ticket to Miss Spink and Miss Forcible's performance today. She thinks you'll really like it. She really does know you best. Wow, that sounds great. Your little friend is already there waiting for you. You're already late, so go on. can't help but to listen and watch as my scales shine and glisten when my song rings out through the air and the stout little wives weep with despair for their mighty sea bows they'll be missing. After their Song of the Seas performance, if that is what you could call it, Spink and Forcible appeared high above the stage, each balancing precariously on a seemingly undersized diving board. In a matter of moments, Spink and Forcible transformed their routine into something that was much easier on the eyes. Coraline discovered that she was actually the star of the show. Luckily, there weren't many moves to learn. Coraline soon found herself receiving a round of applause.
Ready to have some fun, Coraline? Great job! It was great fun, Miss Spink, Miss Forcible. That was a splendid debut, Coraline. Imagine the love of the audience washing over you every night. Hard to resist, eh? Coraline, dear, would you give us a hand in setting up background props for the next performance? The theater never rests. Use your slingshot to get them down to their right positions on the stage. Sure, I would love to help. Good girl! Brilliant! One more! off to prepare for our next show now. I hope you will come back and join us for another performance. Bye-bye. The other YB led Coraline to her other parents. They looked dashing in the moonlight. Coraline's other parents rewarded her with a special present. A shiny new pair of black button eyes. Coraline couldn't believe it. She hoped that it was just some cruel joke. Unfortunately for Coraline, what came next was even worse.
Mom? Dad? Mom? Dad? <laughs> Keep still. Don't shake, Jonesy. Hey, bounce your body. Quit moving around so much. Sorry, Jonesy. I didn't mean to run you over like that. So, what were you looking for? I'm looking for my mom and dad. I just ran away from my other mother, and I'm worried she might have taken my real mom and dad. Uh, the other mother? Okay. Well, I really have to go. You should get some help, Jonesy. If you know what I mean. Even with parents made of pillows, Coraline went to bed lonely. The combination of loneliness and the fact that pillows are a poor substitute for parents made Coraline realize how much she missed her mother and father. Then, a friend showed up and led Coraline to the two people she needed most in the world, her parents. Coraline's parents would never be able to return on their own she decided there was only one thing to do. They went back through the little door for one last stand against the other mother. Coraline proposed a game. If she could find her parents and the ghost children's eyes, then she would win and they would all be set free. If Coraline couldn't find them, then she would be the other mother's daughter forever. The other mother agreed to the game with a malicious smile.
the other father, kept chasing Coraline against his will. Fortunately for Coraline, the tractor smashed a hole in the bridge and fell through it. The other father managed to resist control for one final act. He threw the ghost eye to Coraline as he fell into the water. Coraline caught her breath and decided where to look for the other two ghost eyes. Some things are not as they seem. Coraline reached deep into the taffy creature that bore little resemblance to young Miss Spink and Miss Forcible that so delighted the canine crowd just a day earlier. She opened the hands and found the second ghost eye. Unfortunately, she was going to have to fight for it. Coraline didn't have a problem with that at all. All she needed was a little help and a bit of timing. The second ghost eye in hand Coraline had one more move to make.
Coraline was devastated. She had let the rat get away with the third ghost eye. Once again, a friend with a very strong distaste for rats came to the rescue. The third ghost eye was soon in hand. With the world unraveling around them, their final destination beckoned, and a final confrontation with the Beldum was at hand. Coraline entered the living room and searched for a sign of her parents. Instead, she found the other mother waiting expectantly. With a sickening grin, the Beldum reminded Coraline there was still one condition of the game to be met. Coraline realized where her parents were, and in a moment of questionable judgment, Coraline made a bold and quite unexpected attack. Charlie and Mel dusted the snow off themselves, and Coraline ran to them. They soon had a terrific dinner to celebrate their reunion. Later that night, with her world back in order, Coraline's real mother and father tucked her into bed. Coraline apologized to her late-night visitor for her rashness and lack of consideration for others, though it did turn out to be the right thing to do. Then they decided that it was time to release the ghost children. Coraline put the eyes of the ghost children under her pillow and the two of them fell fast asleep. <laughs> 